my honey honeys and welcome back to the Sammy Diamond Show. I am Sammy Diamond, your hostess with the most. Today's Sammy Diamond Show is going to be cooking with Sammy. Cooking with the diamond. Alright, the diamond cooking turner. I don't know what exactly what I'm going to call it, but I got all these ingredients right here that we are going to take in. I'm just doing some last minute opening up a can and stuff. Okay, so today we are going to be making vegan sloppy joes. Are you ready for that? Vegan, yes, I said it. Vegan sloppy joe. So right now I got my pan on the burner and I'm going to be adding Crisco pure vegetable oil and yeah, I'll put it right here so you guys can see that. Okay, the pure, about like a tablespoon, just to give it nice and, you know, get the pan nice and oily. So we're going to switch that around in the pan, get it nice and coated all over, and let that heat up for a minute. Okay, so while that's heating up, what I'm going to talk to you about is we're going to, um, so I'm using this Smart Ground Meatless Original Crumbles. It is vegan approved. See with that little heart right there, that means it is vegan approved. This little heart right here. So yeah, so we're going to try this is from Light Life. But for, before that, we're going to be cooking our red onions. We've got some red onions here. So we're going to be cooking that. And you can see it like that. So I'm going to get the thicker hot a little bit more. Okay. So this is a very simple recipe that I never tried before. So I'm just trying it out right now. But it seems very simple. And it seems very vegan friendly. So we're going to try that out. So let's see, that should be good enough. So we're going to just add in the onions into the skillet. And then give it a little swish swish. I'm going to let these, um, like, loosen and translucidize. Translucidize, that's not even the word. We're going to let this um, get a little translucent. And you know, cook up, get a little softer, and cook down a little because they're really hard. Okay, so what is this this meatless brown thing? I've always had this, and it's really good if you're vegan. It tastes just like ground beef. Um, and if you let's read what well, there's a lot of stuff in it. The ingredients, water, soy, protein, concentrate, soy sauce, water, soybeans, salt, wheat, less than 2% barley, malt extract, seca root extract, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't pronounce. But yeah, you can see that right there. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to let this cook up. And don't worry, I'm going to fast forward this part. Just keep stirring while it's cooking. And just keep it, you know, let that cook really good. Cook down. It's not going to reduce, so, but it's going to get nice and translucent, kind of, because it's red onion so it's not really going to be too translucent. We're going to be cooking this. Okay, so I always want to do a cooking show um, for the longest time, have a little cooking segment in my channel. But the only reason why I haven't is because I didn't know how I was going to pull it off. But now, because I got a little camera here, so now you guys can see what I'm doing right here. 
You don't want this cook shot to be forever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to let that cook. And while we're doing that, we're going to um, be opening up the Light Life um, Smart Round Meatless Original Crumbles. And this is how it looks. So we open the box like this. And then, um, the Discard the box. I forgot to put my garbage on here. I just left that right there for now. So it's packaged like this. Comes in like um, plastic. And it's really thin. And right here's how you open it. This is really heavy open. See how nicely that's given nice and like almost translucent like. Yeah, so we just keep picking that while that is nice and sauteed. Nice and nice and, you know. Like in the ingredients for the sloppy joe mix, which I'm using McCormick sloppy joe mix. And let me read you the ingredients in here. This is um, sugar, onion, salt, cornstarch, spices, including paprika, chili pepper, red and green bell pepper, garlic, corn, corn something. I don't know what that word is. More corn, citric acid, vinegar, solid, and natural flavors. So, um, yeah. So how do you cook? So I've made, um, brown meat in large skillet on medium height and drain fat. Stir in one TV mix, tomato paste, and water. Bring to boil, reduce heat, and dinner is uh, basically. But instead, we're going to be doing it vegan style. So yeah, so this is all cooked and ready to be going. So now, there's a little corner on here that you do put that little corner, right here. A little corner that you use to open this thing. So this is about like a pound of meatless stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to add the whole thing in there. And we're going to put this over here. So i break this up. Oh, shit. Oops. making a mess. So we just um, try to make it up. There we go. Oh shit, why did shit left? Okay, so this is the best chunk. The fluid of that family. Okay, so we're just going to smooth it like that. And fold it in. Put the on there. They don't really have to cook because I think it's like. Yeah, just make it nice and curved like we can. Just get this all blended in. And just cook it really good. Okay. 
Is that a mercy? I should have used a big skillet. You know, I didn't. Anyway, I'm making a big ass mess. So right now I'm going to add in tomato paste. This is signature tomato paste from, um, sorry, from, um, top, Safeway. And this is here. Open it up at the can opener. And then we're going to just use a spoon and get that get this in there. Okay. Get this tomato paste in there. So we need one can of tomato paste. Now we're going to just add a little bit of water. This is um, one and one fourth cups of water. We're going to add a little bit into the can. Just give the rest of that um, the tomato paste out. Stir it up a little bit. Okay, that was a <laughs> Now we're going to add the caramel seasoning. So yeah, we're just going to add this in there and the rest of the water. This is in our garbage bowl. And then add the rest of the water and let this cook nice and easy. I'm going to turn down the temperature and just stir it. Let me get a different spoon. Yes, just stick it. Okay. So I got this kind of um, spoon. See? So I'm just going to make that, hopefully that make it easier. Get everything combined. This is a lot that I made. Okay, so I'm just stir it. Make sure everything gets good, well combined. Okay. I wish I wasn't so messy. <laughs> but anyway. You just stir that up. Make sure it's combined. Do nothing like pillows, puppy dough. You know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Everything's fine. We're going to do our taste test. Why? Um, see what it tastes like. Ready? Mm-hmm. 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 Now we're just going to let this. Um, let's just simmer for a minute. Get nice and hot. I turned down, turned it down on simmer. Then we're just gonna um, put the lid on and let that simmer for a minute. And we'll be back. And we'll, when we get back, we'll be ready to plate it up and have a little taste test. All right, so I'll be back in a few. Mwah. Hi, and welcome back. Um, 
Right now, the meat, the fluffy gel is ready for taste. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to plate it up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we got these wheat, um, 100% whole wheat sandwich buns. No artificial flavors, a bun of a natural um, ingredient. Okay, let's go ahead and show you what they look like. Okay, ingredients, whole wheat, flour, water, liquid sugar, yeast, wheat gluten, contains percentage or less of the following sunflower oil, um, burgundy wheat, crushed wheat, molasses, honey, sea salt, vinegar, cultured wheat, and bran, acetic acid, and enzymes. I think that's what it says. Contains wheat. Okay, so we're going to open one of these fantastic um, buns out. Okay. So here we go. We're going to put that right there. We're going to sit on the side because the side is good right there. We're going to open this up. Now I got these cre um, kale, kale slices, creamy product of Greece. Non GMO, non dairy. Okay. What it's got? It got. Filtered water, coconut oil, modified corn, and potato starch, potato starch, fermented gel, tofu, soybean water, sesame oils, calcium sulfate, sea salt, natural flavor, olive extract, and used as produce, so yeah, and vegan. It says vegan right here. Okay, let's keep that right there. It's got that vegan thing. And that's what it looks like. But okay, but I already got some open in my little Tupperware. So I'm going to use that one first. So here we go. We're going to put a slice of this cheese on the bottom of there. And then I'm going to dish out some of this. this um, good, yummy. Sloppy Joe, vegan sloppy Joe. So yeah, that's what it looks like. You can throw some olives in here to make it good mushrooms. But sloppy Joe is just sloppy Joe. So you just put it on top of there. There you go. There we have it. Put back over here. Okay, put the bread on top, and then we're going to use some Lay's potato chips. Um, does it say vegan friendly? It don't say anything like that, but it, they, don't, they don't have the little vegan thing on it, but it is vegan friendly. The ingredients are potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower, corn, and or canola oil, and salt. Simple, easy breezy, plain as potato chips. Now, I'll take it down here. So I'm just going to put a few right here. I take the mask, I'll see that up in a minute. it up. There we go. And here we go. Screenshot. I would just use this for a screenshot. There you go. Screenshot. So this is my vegan sloppy joe. So let's give it a taste test. I forgot a fork and a knife. I'm going to use a knife and a fork because I'm fancy. Because it's messy. Okay. So we're just going to take a little taste of that. Get some of that cheese. Get some of the 
I'm flip your bread. Get all that yumminess on it. Give it in there. Okay, ready? Get some onion. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. That is good. It needs some hot sauce. Yep, yep. Hot sauce, sauce and everything. But that is it. That is my vegan sloppy gel. And thank you for coming to my show. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please um, leave a comment down below um, on some of your favorite vegan recipes that you like to cook. And um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you. And don't forget the notification bell, you know, all that jazz and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. I love you all. Mm.